The new Falco Explorer tactical, remotely piloted air system is the largest UAV built by Italy's Leonardo Group. On January 15th, the aircraft made a long-awaited first flight. The Explorer offers medium altitude, long endurance surveillance and reconnaissance capability for a variety of military and civil applications. However, it will not carry weapons, and so will not be subject to the restrictions associated with the international traffic in arms rules. Its export prospects are further boosted by the fact that it does not include US-made technology. That means it won't be subject to Pentagon-imposed restrictions. The new UAV will be certified to be flown in both controlled and uncontrolled airspace. We see the market is going towards missions that are performed by non-military organizations, like institutional agencies, in Europe and all around the world that are focused to control the territory, control the borders, both over land and on the sea. And so this type of activity that is uh, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance is something that in reality can help uh, significantly, let's say, the homeland security. The Explorer took off from the Italian Air Force's Trapani base for a first flight of around 60 minutes. The flight testing will certify the new aircraft for NATO's Stanag 4671 airworthiness standards, which will greatly expand the territories over which it will be cleared to operate. Flight trials will assess the aircraft's full array of capabilities, including its integrated sensor system. Basically, the sensor package is composed by a multi-mode uh, radar and uh, a, an electro-optics turret. These are the two basic sensors, but having a capability of 350 uh, kilos, uh, we can embark many other types of sensors, for example, the automatic identification systems for maritime applications. An important payload, which is not a sensor, but is very significant for the conduction of the mission, is the satellite link. So the FICO Explorer is going to fly uh, surely beyond line of sight. Leonardo will be offering the Explorer for direct sale to operators or under leases through which it will handle all aspects of operations. It will support the aircraft on behalf of customers, directly supplying them with all data gathered during flights. The Explorer will compete with UAVs such as Israel Aerospace Industries' Hermes and the US General Atomics MQ-1 Predator. The Explorer will have a common ground control system with existing Leonardo Falco UAVs, such as the Evo. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.